Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to EU4 The Re-Reconquista, playing as Andalusia. Alright, so, we finished off another war with Portugal and Castile, took a fair chunk more land, now we are debating fighting against Aragon, but that does mean taking on the coalition consisting of Aragon, France, Savoy, and Holland. Currently not Ferrara, uh, Ferrara is allied to Aragon though, and they will join eventually, so might Riga. Um, I suspect that Ferrara will join even though it says they won't right now. As soon as they pay off a little debt and get some war exhaustion off, I think they will get called in. So let's assume that Ferrara is going to join no matter what. If I declare right, right now, we can bring in the Ottomans, Great Britain, and Morocco. And I did take some time to think through the ledger a little bit. France has 80,000 troops, the Ottomans has 93. Great Britain brings in another 41,000 to the table. Of course, we got myself with 61. Uh, Morocco bringing another 20. I think, all in all, it's going to be closer to an even fight than we would like. Uh, mainly because the Ottomans will probably spend most of their attempts, our effort fighting here in Italy, and then bring some troops down maybe through Africa. It'll take a very long time to reinforce in a meaningful way. Um, Britain won't do much. They may land and then just get immediately smashed. What would be easier is if I could have Savoy leave the coalition, please and thank you. That would be easier if they just get out. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm just going to fight here in Catalonia against uh, all of Aragon and France's troops. They're going to dogpile everything they've got up here in these mountains. And I don't exactly have the best defensive terrain to fight this either. So I don't know. Um... Now, I did just reload the game, so sometimes things get recalculated right now, and we might find that the AI is going to break off their coalition. Possibly. We do have a mission to get a whole load of free claims on big areas, and I do want this. Just not worried about it this second. That's nice. Yes, please, kind-hearted. I'll take that. Um, If we go to war and take more land, who else do we think might get angry at me? Maybe Austria? They don't care. I mean, a clue is to look at the people who are angry right now, and we'll have some idea who would be angry in the future. Maybe Denmark or Brandenburg. These guys can't join anything at the moment, don't really care anyway. Eh. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm really worried about any of it. Um, I am worried about the Ottomans taking it upon themselves to declare war of their own. We have so many favors, what I think I'm going to do is just ask them to prepare for war. And say, don't declare a war of your own for the next year. Poo, perfect. Okay, people are now leaving the coalition. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Exactly what I wanted to see. All right. I don't know if that actually affects the coalition. If they are prepared for war, and there are more reasons for them to join, do they all like just recalculate? Um, construction cost reduction. When I'm about to go to war and take a lot of land, I honestly think that making ten admin power per month means we're going to have enough to core what I need. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. Take an idea, enjoy some construction cost reduction. We can buy more things. Yeah. And with the construction cost reduction, it means these pro uh, buildings become profitable a lot faster. Holland left. Okay. So now I am interested in attacking. Because now it's just me versus France and Aragon. And Ferrara, actually, right now is still in the position to join. But this becomes so much easier for me. Now, I want to be careful because I want to take out these Portuguese separatists first. Border friction. Um, I have a claim down here. I'm not going to lose that. Nah. France left the coalition. Yeah, everyone's leaving the coalition. So the coalition's dead. That's good. Doesn't actually matter, but it is dead. Uh, Aragon just declared war on Castile. Well, pff, that makes this decision even easier. Now they're distracted. All right. Screw the Portuguese. We're just going to go ahead and raise the autonomy and not worry about any more unrest from these guys because I need to get my troops together because this is our opportunity to strike. The perfect opportunity. We are going to restore Al-Andalus and get the war score cost reduction so we can take even more and gain some permanent claims on massive chunks of territory. All of this. Now, Navarra is the only province I will not have a claim against. Apparently, I get claims on um, Sardinia Piedmont as well. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, cool. I have very little interest in actually doing anything with that, but it is a thing. So let's get our troops in position. We're going to stop drilling. And let's get ready to engage against the French and the Aragonese. This should be easy mode. Yeah, we'll do some more conversions too. Why not? I can get more manpower using my mysticism if we want to. 
Don't think I need to use more favors here. Um, we can just call everyone else in. France is allied to too many people for me to co-belligerize. Not that I really care. It's just a thought. Uh, no idea where Aragon's army is. Actually, something I could do. Keep my troops up here because we may very well see them come into Castile's territory. Then again, if I don't have the military access, does it matter? Let's definitely go ahead and turn on some border forts and get them garrisoned. But this might mean that Castile gets to be a nice, easy punching bag while I go beat the snot out of Aragon. I like this. I like this a lot. This is a good strategy. It's a perfect strategy. We can also go ahead and get a super awesome conquistador. Um, would I like to get rid of one of these generals? Maybe this guy? Let's, uh, let's reorganize for a second here. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this guy. He's not that great. And let's just go ahead and enjoy a really nice conquistador. 5561. Beautimus. Put you in charge here, and then we'll put you in charge here. There we go. Okay. This is not so bad. This is not so bad at all. Um, yeah. That means we can engage against the French pretty hard with this guy, and we have a pretty good chance at winning. So I'm going to let the Castilians continue doing their thing. With any luck, Aragon comes after them, and they take more losses, but I think we just go for it at this point. Ferraro now will join. We t I, I knew they were going to, so it's not that big a deal. Ferraro, are you allied to anybody else? Yeah, the Papal State in Savoy, so we don't want to co-belligerize you either. That's fine. So I think the Ottomans will deal with Italy and Ferrara for me. It just comes to me and Rocco dealing with France and maybe have Great Britain's help slowing them down. So we'll call all of them in. Uh, we are going to do a conquest war, not for ourselves. Sorry, not for Catalonia, but for ourselves. We're going to take uh, Teruel, whatever that's called, and off we go. All right. So Morocco, I'm going to need you to stack up on me if you don't mind. Thank you. Uh, let's go charge into the capital province there and start sieging it down. And I've got plenty of reinforcements nearby. There's France fighting peasants. Go have fun with that one, bud. It's fine with me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off these forts. Not that I think I need to. We're making a pretty good amount of money anyway, but let's just do it. Um, you guys are actually going to back up for a second. I don't know what kind of fleet you got. Three heavies. I've got an admiral with pretty darn good stats. I think navally we could take you on. But we've also got a bunch more ships on the way, too. So maybe we don't want to do that. Let's just wait until we're at full strength. Wow, that was fast. Let's go ahead and siege down a bit more. So, uh, Ottomans, your goal is to go here and here. And where is Ferrar's capital? There. If you can take those three forts, we win. Um, using the Moroccan and Catalonian navies, we actually can keep the entire Aragon army stuck. Or at least the majority of it. Which is hilarious. And my ships are, some of them, outdated. But, um, yeah, if we can just keep this navy down. Let's go ahead and send our navy to assist. We're going to have to fight their heavies and stuff. But yeah, he's moving into this, so we're about to have a naval battle, and this is going to keep them under control. Influenza. Mm, uh, no. Okay, sunk that. Uh, we took no losses. And actually, we just gained the chance to capture enemy ships. Very nice. Um, I'm going to go repair for a little bit with my proper navy. I don't want to lose any more ships. You know how many ships I've lost in all these freaking wars? So many. Hello, Aragon. There's the rest of your army. Okay, so you have those two stacks. I'm pretty sure that's all you've got. I don't like that these guys pulled off here. I want them to stay blockading, but okay. So I do have military access. I can run in here in the highlands, and we have um, a pretty nice numbers advantage unless the French are hiding right here. I think it's a risk I'm willing to take. There's the French. I could use some reinforcements, but that's enough to stack wipe their army. Beautimus. Now... We can fight France in the dry lands if they want to lock themselves, and that's another easy fight for me. And then we just simply make them run away while I continue sieging. Okay, he's got more reinforcements on the way. This becomes a far more even fight. Need you guys to possibly come and assist. Uh, we are going to split this army and be ready for sending some reinforcements, but I think... Yeah, we're going to catch you. 
Let's send some reinforcements to assist. He's sending some more of his own. How are the stats looking here? Uh, rolling a zero hurts. We're equal on morale. Uh, he's got much better discipline, though. You know what? Good point. Let's go ahead and grab a morale of armies upgrade. Level two. Okay, reinforcements come. Whoa, god. Okay, we have to abandon this fort. This just became a lot scarier than it, I thought. Oh, we won. Okay. So I just abandoned my progress on the fort, but I'll accept that. The important thing is we just shattered the bulk of the French army. Which means now we want to get up over here and try to siege down Le Bourg. Hello, extra ships. Let's bring you all over here. Ferrara is engaging against Catalonia. Um, don't like that. I think we're going to go and assist and destroy your transports. Okay, you ran away. That's fine. Can we catch out the Aragonese Navy? Eh, they've got some heavy still on standby. Let's not do that yet. Okay. Uh, Morocco is going to be sieging down this fort. That's fine. Ottomans, where are you? You siege down Crete. Yep, that's a good use of time. Brilliant. Nothing can go wrong there. Send some more reinforcements and light ships. Done. I still want to keep these guys here, so I think I might literally just sit here with my navy. It's unsportsmanlike, but if I can trap 24,000 troops, I mean... Pfft, why wouldn't I? I do want to jump on Ferrara in the hills. The hills are alive! But soon to be full of dead people. Oh, run! Get to Narbonne. He ran away. Cowardly Ferrara, he turned his tail and fled. Lost our claim against Galicia, don't care. France might jump on this, so we have to be very cautious. Morocco, I don't know why you are retreating. I was quite happy with where you were. Britain, you should be fine with your navy. I really don't know what is wrong with you, but I will say your goal is to take on literally any of these forts. Get some sort of a beachhead and get me some dang war score, dude. Where are you? You're all in the new world, aren't you? I'll bet you you are. I'll bet you you are. Useless. Absolutely useless. All right, Morocco, where are you going? You decided to go and reinforce my fort over here? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, he's going to go stack up over here. Decided this is the place to hang out. Okay, converted some more heretics in Castello. Um, Converting the Protestants is the lowest of priorities right now. Because technically we gain, I think, a little bit of printing press just by having some Protestants. So we'll hold off on that. Now Morocco's working on the fort again. Thank you. Uh, if we can take this, I'll kill the peasants. Got it. Let's go kill the peasants. Uh, okay, these guys are walking around over here again. Crush peasants. Crush peasants. We got the siege. All right. So this is where both of my stacks start moving forward. We're going to go to Avignon. And Montpellier. Get ready to fight there. Still keeping these guys isolated. Uh, the Ottomans are now landing in Sicily. 37,000 more troops are on their way. Gonna let Morocco go and resiege this. Ferrara's gonna go and attack. I can't reinforce that fast enough. We're just gonna have to accept that. And Morocco ran because they're cowards. It's fine. Now remember, level 2 forts, we have an advantage taking on now because we do have military tech that obsoleted those forts, so it should be a little bit easier for me to beat them down. I mean, France has that tech too. Like, there's no way they're not on time with military tech, but you get the point. Are you guys going to go chase down Ferrara? Because I think you should. I mean, I don't want Ferrara wandering around over here, you know? It wouldn't be great. Hey, we got Avignon really fast. Beautimus. Uh, okay, so we need to start moving up into a good central location. I need to cut off France's reinforcements. Britain is doing a great job of slaughtering their navy. Which is what you expect Britain to do. So, I'm not upset about that. That's good. Uh, hello. This, however, is one of those opportunities to attack, this time in the hills. Uh, arrive on the 9th, 3rd, 29th. I think you'll get stack wiped. We will not have the defensive terrain. Maybe we hold off here for a second. These guys are dead. So if you want to go... Okay, so he's going to go and intercept my reinforcements from Catalonia and Morocco if we're not careful. This becomes an opportunity for me to just kind of do a hammer and anvil? Possibly. 
not defensive terrain, but still a good opportunity for me to hit him with double his numbers. With reinforcements nearby. Uh, yeah, let's jump on this. You leave on the 30th, we arrive on the 29th. So we're gonna prevent you from reinforcing while Morocco and Catalonia fight Ferrara. And we get to hit you with twice your ranks. So, oh yeah! Okay, that works. Who's got the good siege value again? This guy. So one of you's going over here. Don't forget we have the superior general right now. It looks like we got three star and France doesn't. Which means I get to have some fun at his expense. Oop, hello. Okay, this time he's got a defensive terrain bonus, but we've got the superior general. He is locked into this fight. He has reinforcements on the way. Oh god, that got closer than it should have, but we got him again. Good. Ottomans, how you doing? You are still pushing through here, okay? You gave up on Sicily. Why? I do not know. Morocco's still doing their job down there. That's fine. We've taken the brunt of the hits, but that's not a big deal. If we can keep taking some of these um, forts, we'll be fine. Uh, prestige tax modifier, again, with the whole... Do we want to gain a little bit of local... Or just gain some prestige? I don't care about it, to be honest. I think we just ignore it. Okay, he's coming in for another round, so let's go for it again. He has low morale this time with his reinforcements, so we've got him. I don't know what you think you're doing there, bud, but it's not going well for you. He's trying to take advantage of the fact that I have very few troops here, because most of them are, you know, dead. But we still got the Fort of Lyonnais, which means now I have a free run up to Paris, which is what I'm going to do. Britain is doing a good job of sieging down some forts over here. I don't know why they went for the exact fort I did not tell them to go for, but okay. Yee, that's fine. Um, Ottomans, are you sure you want to sit here? You gonna do anything about Corsica? Is this a thing? I don't know. Let's get rid of some more of these Catholics. It's expensive, but it's fine. Reinforcements are on the way. We're gonna go down to Paris, and we should be able to siege this pretty quick, because it's only a level one fort. Then I will have enough war score to make France cry? And they will give up everything. I might even give some territory to Great Britain just because. Screw you. Return some cores, you know? Hey, Paris has fallen. That didn't take long. <laughs> Where have I heard that one before? Um. Okay, so there's his army. Oh, right. You're sieging down forts from Castile. I forgot about that. That is a thing you would do. I think we ignore him for the moment and we just go take as much war score out of France as we can. The Ottomans are on the way. Where'd they go? Wait, Ottomans? Where are the Ottomans? Where'd they go? I'm always losing track of you guys. I don't know why. I know there's a 26 stack here, but wasn't there another 27 stack up here somewhere? Tell me you're not marching all the way down here. Britain did. Really? Was this the priority? This was the priority, Panda? Okay. If I sound defeated, it's because I am. I just get reminders sometimes of just how monumentally stupid the AI can be. And it makes me sad. Okay, we got the Siege of Calais instantly. That's beautiful. Let's just go ahead and siege what we can here. Um, this stuff is not cored by France. France apparently... Uh, sorry, Britain. Britain lost a lot of cores. Did Britain lose all of their cores? They have permanent claims in Brittany, I get that, but like, really? Okay. Well, I still would love to hand some territory off to them so that Britain can be more useful to me against France in the future. Hey, look who wants to defend uh, Paris. That's cute. Forget that. Let's get over here. I'm going to kill you. I don't want you taking Paris back. Oh, he brought all of his reinforcements. He's got all the friends. All right. Let them lead. They'll arrive on the 7th. You follow in, and a couple days later, this is going to be close-ish. But I think we can win this. Britain is bringing some reinforcements. Got numbers. Morocco's helping. Lose money. That sucks. Okay. So they're going over here. I'm going to take the rest of you. We're going to try to force the French Navy to get sunk by the British. These guys actually were able to get that last fort for me, so that worked out well. Uh, Ottomans, I still don't know where you are and what you're doing, and you're not helping where I want you to go. Just FYI, you're actually not helpful. Who's Savoy fighting? 
Tuscany. Oh, Tuscany decided to attack Ferrara. That's why Ferrara is distracted. They're not helping much at all. Perfect. This is what we call a perfect storm, but to my favor. Yearly inflation reduction will certainly be nice. Um, but not a high priority right now when I need to use the admin power for coring. I plan on taking quite a bit in this war if I have a choice. Okay, so we're now just going for the mass siege, carpet sieging of France. They are once again trying to go into Paris, but I have an army with five, uh, sorry, a three-star general ready to assist. So let's get all of our reinforcements together and scare him a little bit. Oh, we have to go this way? All right. I'm coming for you, France. We should be able to win that. Okay, siege over here is done. Good. Let's get ready to hand some territory off to the British. Uh, we lost that fight. He actually was able to reinforce sufficiently because Britain did not reinforce fast enough. All right. Good advice. Government reform advisors. Okay. Looks like Britain may have just gotten stomped on a little bit. I am out of manpower. Ah, that'll be part of the reason we're struggling now. Well, I definitely don't want you taking France back. 49%. You get so many cannons stacked up here, you get this back immediately. This might be a good time to just go ahead and peace out with France. I don't actually care if you're allied to Aragon anymore, because once I take all of this, you don't matter. Um, so... I think... Let's see, can we return course to anyone I like? Burgundy, but that's it. Now, we take these, we hand them off to Br uh, Britain. Just to give Britain a uh, reason to fight in the future. Okay? We've got war reps. I don't care about any more of your allies. Um, how much money can I take off of you? Oh my god. Yep. 2,000 more ducats. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, let's slow down for a second, because I think I can hand this one off, too. Oh, he's... up, up, up. Okay. He temporarily lost progress, which means I can now hand this off to Britain as well. Britain has claims and stuff, so, I mean, they're going to like this. All right. Am I really willing to sacrifice this much money to give Britain one more territory? You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not. I want the money. Show me the money. Releasing nations, none of this matters. Is there anything else I can do to you? We've got 35 more. I mean... Sure, screw it. Just break off the relationship with Aragon so we don't have to worry about these guys in the future. Oh, we can make you release your territory in India. That would be fun. Now, I think this is good enough. Um, this is going to really upset France, but I don't take any aggressive expansion. And we get all of their money. And war reps, and they're out of the war. Bye! Suckers. Alright, let's, uh, let's get ready to get back into the fray against Aragon and Ferrara. I guess we can head down toward Ferrara, but I need to get first unblack flagged. Um, Ottomans, if you want to jump on this, you know that you can do so, correct? I'm not sure he's aware of that, but he can. So, Castile is still fighting against Aragon, but not much else is going to happen there. France is also pieced out with Castile, because they want nothing to do with any more of this nonsense. So, I took nothing to Cori yet. Uh, let's see if I'll be able to take everything I want in this war. We should be able to. Yes. 50% war score is all that we would need in order to take the rest of the territory in Iberia. Of course, we're still looking at some angry people, so let's think about that. The Pope, Holland, Utrecht, Ferrara, Mainz, Liege, the same people we've been trying to improve with anyway. Uh, I don't think we can get much higher than we already have, but let's go ahead and improve a little bit with Liege. And probably with Holland and stuff. Let's just try to get some people out of this so we don't have to worry about coalitions again. So now your navy is moving around. We apparently have decided to dock up and repair. Okay. All right, speed five. I was wondering why things were moving so slowly all of a sudden again. It might be because I literally slowed down the game. Let's continue with the conversions, I guess. Hey, Aragon's troops are here. Hello, I missed you. 
Let's go kill! Hi, Ferrara, what are you doing here? Oh, Ferrara's sitting all... just sitting here in France. They don't feel comfortable going anywhere, apparently. Alright, we're gonna go kill you! Squeesh! That's all of them dead. They had mostly cannons anyway. Now we send our troops over to Ferrara and see if we can get them out of this. Unless they want to just leave now. I mean, you are kind of being killed by Tuscany. You've got probably max war exhaustion. And here come the Ottomans. So, I mean... Yeah, you want out. I can't take anything from you, but I don't care. You're doomed as is. Have fun. So Ferrara's out. So that should leave just Aragon by themselves with only one army left. Yep, that comes to 24,000. So that's all they've got. Which means now we have free reign to just sit around and siege down all of their forts. Now I want a long peace treaty with them if possible. Because... That would result in them staying out of the coalition for a good long while. Alas, I don't have military access. So what I will need to do is unmothball my transports. You do still have heavies and light ships, which I will need to ward off using my own navy. Looks like we are engaging said navy right now with a superior admiral. Integrating Catalonia is done. Thank God, finally. All right, we lose... Um, well, we actually ended up capturing a light ship, apparently, so we did fine and just demolished their navy. Well, that means we feel pretty good about what we are doing. Uh, let's turn this into a state, Catalonia. Donskis. And you, of course, have plenty of trade, so let's go ahead and enact the local trade power like so. That's pretty sweet. Um, got a lot of money we're sitting on. Manufactories? Sure. Let's go ahead and build a couple of those. And we'll hold on to the rest for the moment. Ottomans, you're still being useful. I just want to point this out. Or, sorry, useless. Destroying his navy again. Actually captured a couple of transports. Let's go ahead and send said transports to join up over here. I think that puts me over my naval force limit. It does. By a shocking amount. How many ships did I capture? What? Oh, because we integrated these guys. Ah, that'll do it. I don't need these galleys. Um, fun though it is to use galleys, I don't need them. So we'll ignore that. Uh, let's go ahead and send these guys to come and join up with the main navy. You guys are all going to get together. We're going to have to transport across to Italy since it looks like no one else is being helpful. Papal State broke their alliance. Ottomans are wa marching over here for no good reason whatsoever. More troops are done on my end. How are we doing with Force Limit? We're actually close to Force Limit. I want the Ottomans to go and do the work. But since they are refusing to do the work, I'm going to have to go and do it myself. Oh, well now we have military access, apparently. Tell you what, I'll go to Sicily while you go to Naples. How's that? Alright. Let's get my... Uh, let me just, just double check. You got one heavy left. I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and start transporting our troops over here to Palermo. Move our troops in position. Do a little landing action. Looks like the Ottomans are landing around Malta or something. I don't know why they're doing that, but they are. So we're going to go to Messina. This is the last of the other troops they've trained up. The Ottomans are finally working on Naples, and we are going to be able to get to 100% peace deal against Aragon, which is my goal. I want 100% peace. Because that way I can have a good... Long truce timer. There's just a little bit of particularist rebels. I should probably put those down. No, don't scorch my earth! Gosh dang it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I clicked the wrong button. I was going for the... F oh, God. I don't know why. I saw that and I was thinking, hey, put down rebels. That was wrong. Ugh. Because this is the button. A conquistador can't. They can hunt for the seven cities. But that's it. Oh, God. <laughs> that is just embarrassing. Hey, we captured a heavy ship. That I think I'll keep. I mean, heavies are good. We could sell it. Let's go and assist over here, Messina. Bring the cannons into the fray. Influenza spreads. Quarantine it. The Ottomans have finally decided to get off their butts and do something. They have crushed. You guys could literally march over here and finish their armies off. They are going to do exactly that. 
And Stack White. Well done. Maxed out with Holland. Let's improve a bit more with Tuscany, who did take some land. Let's improve a bit more with... Ferrara. I don't know. Raise war taxes? Nah. We're fine. Peace offer from Aragon. Oh, you want to give up, Cease? Really? I don't know why you want to do that. Uh, it's just silly. And we got the Siege of Messina. That's a 100% peace deal for me. Okay. Well, we want to take this. No doubt. Coalition... Still a thing, but not actually as bad as it used to be because people like me. Uh, war reps, sure. Um, we could humiliate you. That would be enough. I unfortunately can't take anything and give it to the Ottomans. Despite the fact that, despite the fact that they took the sieges and won't hand it off, which usually implies they want it, they say they don't want it, which means I can't give it to them. Which is what I would want to do, so that they actually would have the ability to do an invasion up here in Italy in the future a little bit easier. But no. So we could take this. That would upset a lot of people. Let's not do that. We already have to manage our um, aggressive expansion carefully. This kicks Aragon out and literally means that Castile is the only remaining force. Which is great. Uh, releasing nations doesn't matter. Um, alliance, we don't even have an alliance with Ferraro. They broke off already. Is there any reason not to just humiliate? How much money you got? 800 ducats. I mean, ducats is nice, but power projection is better. I think we're just going to take this, and we're going to humiliate you, and Aragon will be exiled to Italy. And that coalition's completely manageable to me. Done! <laughs> Alright, Andalusia can join up its... Oh, look at, the, look at the font! Look at the font! It's beautiful! Oh, it makes, it makes... It's enough to make a man cry. Enough to make a grown man cry. And we even have enough power left over to go for the yearly inflation reduction, which I will do... Thereby counteracting the effect of my gold mine so we don't have to get above 5% anytime ever soon again. Lol. Why did I say it like that? Dear Lord. Did you hear that? I don't know why I did that. That was completely confusing. Alright, improve relations with the outraged countries. We are 5 out of 4 relationship slots, but Catalonia is out of the picture. I'm going to hold on to this fort because it's actually pretty darn good in the mountains against France in the future if they become a threat. Castile, Castile, Castile. We could truce break with you. Britain would even be willing to consider that option. But I'd lose all my stability, and I don't like that idea. So many cores to take, though. How long until I can kill you again? 1583, huh? Four years. That's not too long. And they got no allies, and they're still bankrupt, and still under siege from peasants. I think we only have to wait out for four more years, and then we can definitely reconquer all of Galicia and Leon, the question will be, can I then take all that remains for myself? And I think the answer is no. I think this is still too much for me to take. But we will be very, very, very close. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and see what it is.